What's up guys, this is Last Chance Speaking, and today we are looking at the Transformer Studio Series, The Lost Class, Hightower. Um, if you don't know who this is, this is Hightower, we're from Transformers Avenger to Fallen, which, which, if you are looking at my lovely background here, here it is, the movie in the middle, right there. there and yes, these are my copies of, of all the Michael Bay movies, these that I have, have in the studio, you as we speak. He can, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have the other Transformer movies. These don't get mad at me. Before, but besides that, that we we are talking about Hightower here. And if you don't know who Hightower it is, there is well, where have you been? Hightower is basically a character that is that is from Revenge of Fallen, like I already said. And, and Hightower is is supposed to be Hook from the Generations One TV show, which is nice. And Hightower. Where is is a very cool character in the movie, and he was just um I I have nothing to say about High Tower in general from the movie. We, okay, let me be real, with you, Chief. Okay, High Tower was not in the movie. High Tower was a constructed con, con considered to be in the movie, but then got scrapped after for no apparent reason. So this is this isn't the same exact problem as well. Well, this happened with the other construct cons as well. For an example, example, uh, there's, there's a construct con named Skipjack, Nick, which is a uh, version of Rampage. Hey, Jam, if you don't remember Rampage, uh, he was the uh, red bulldozer. There you go. Uh, he was supposed to be in the movie, but then they recolored him to be red, and they turned him into Rampage. Page, uh, Overload, which was supposed to be new construct con, was supposed to be in it. That he got scrapped too, and a character named Scrap Metal was supposed to be in the movie. Movie, he got scrapped as well, but he was replaced with Scrapper, and and there was a whole controversy on on how Scrapper took the place of Scrap Metal, and Scrap Metal was actually in the movie, but he just looked like Scrapper. Or, uh, Trans Theory did a uh, Constructicon on Mi Misconceptions video, so you ha if you have not seen that video, I highly recommend and you checked out that video. You know, it helped me a lot with wrapping my head around what the heck is going on. So. Even though that this is a character that never appeared in the movie, I like this thing. The painting and the sculpt on this scene is really nice. This is a, um, some sort of crane thing. I don't do construction, to be honest with you. My dad is in the construction business. This is masonry. My stepdad is a carpenter. Carpenter, uh, so that tells you a lot, a lot about where I come from. When I was younger, I wanted to be a construction worker, just like my father. And that day never actually came into be because now I'm a YouTuber. YouTuber. And yeah, you can see how how sad my dad could be. Actually, he's not disappointed in me whatsoever. Or, um, this is a nice thing. Uh, the treads don't move, but, you know, whatever. If you flip it under here, yeah. Or, and this is, uh, this is nice. Oh, duly noted, when you get this thing out of the box, this thing comes off. So, just plug that back. So, we'll plug that back in. He rolls very nicely. and. Besides that, yeah, I don't have nothing else to do. So let's just get down to the size commissions. Since, uh, here he is next to the NECA 1954 Godzilla, which is pretty nice looking. Here he is next to the... To the Master Grade Gundam Mabatos. And here he is next to the Transformers Earth Wars Deluxe Class Clip Chopper. And no, I did not transform him before this comparison. I didn't. I didn't feel like like uh, trying to transform him off screen and ramble. Well, so that's why I don't uh, transform characters for size comparisons. Um. So yeah. Besides that, he's a nice looking crane thing. Now we're gonna transform him, and uh, let's get one thing straight. So, Duty Series Hightower here is one part of a. Something. I forgot how many. Nine. I think it's nine. Yeah, nine. Right? Mm -hmm. No, it's eight. <laughs> Hightower is a part of eight construct cons that can be combined to form Devastator. And apparently, in Transfer, he said that it's ten. I didn't care. I didn't feel like rewatching the movie to see if he's right or wrong. Oh, whatever. So, this guy can transform into a hand, well, part of a hand, and I'll show you what, what I mean by that when we show his transformation right now. So, first things first, you want to do to get him into a combine mode is you take the treads, 
heads here, lug them up like so. You, uh, there's a little notch here that goes into a little hole right there. Um, you take this should be out. You take his head right here, and you pull it out and almost drop my movie. Movie, rip that out right there. Yeah, and parts are not sitting well. Really, you put that right there. Very nice cable management there. I cannot tell that his head is right here. You cannot, not tell. Well, we'll get that that later. You take this claw piece. Yes, it's parts forming, but whatever. You're my favorite transformer figure ever, aka the clip from a toy that I have or figure. Here, I know people get triggered when I say toy. Hey, uh, you clip that there. You take this combined thing. That that's a heavy ratchet joint. Here we have his hand mug. This is basically one part of a hand. And and from what I understand, and also what the instructions are telling me and what I've seen, you know, people's reviews, if you're supposed to take the Lux class the Lux class scrap metal, you know, and he's supposed to plug in there, you know, and then you'll have a whole hand. Um, I don't have scrap metal whatsoever. Um high tower is the only shotgun that I own. So that's nice. Um basically this is the equivalent of Garbage. I don't like this. Uh, the I mean, I mean, I'm sure the hand would look nice. It's just the fact that I don't have anything for him, or I don't have another. I don't have scrap metal to go with this. I'm sure if I had scrap metal, I would have said that this would have looked nice, or it's just something. But no, it's garbage. Also, kibble management, my friend. Yes, this is fine, fine. But the head right there, brah. I don't like it. Get like. Yeah. But whatever, and this is on a joint. But if I do end up getting the rest of those, I'll show it off later. Later. Uh. So yeah, this is nice. Now, here's part of Dev's there. I'm gonna guess this is the arm of Dev's there, and this is gonna be the palm of the hand. Here is Dev's there's hand, uh, arm or whatever, compared to my hand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just get this thing into robot mode. So we're already halfway there. Here, yeah, and we're already living our prayer. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um. So basically, you remove this. You clip this back onto here. Here, come. You flip this down. I don't know if the instructions tell you to flip this down, but I say flip. And that's where scrap metal goes. Put his neck there. Here, and and you know he's half a robot. Take this. Put it out, you know, like so. So now it's pointing upward. Take this, flip it up like so. Oh, and then you deep egg these these parts right here, here, and then you start splitting things. Actually, let's flip up these arms here. These little T Rex arms. Then we start ah, disconnecting things. Ow, that hurt. Oh, I hope I didn't break it. Okay, nothing's broken. You take this whole big combiner part here, and it lift it up, and then plug that in, and that makes the the butt of high tower. You take these, fold it up, take these parts, plug it into there. Here, like so, straight in now, out the leg. And I don't know what you're supposed to do with these. The instructions tell you to do it like this, which looks Okay, the original concept art art had it like like this, and we'll talk about the original concept art. So, but for now, I'm gonna leave it like this, like this. And guess what? You do the same exact things on the other side. Put down his arm, put down his head, and and here you have High Tower in his robot mode. And and I gotta be honest, with you, I like to say <laughs> it's stupid. Now. Like I said, High Tire did not appear in Revenge of the Fallen, but this it but this is an early concept idea that was was meant for Revenge of the Fallen, but never actually made it into the movie. Uh, the uh, High Tire had one of two designs. Lines, uh, this is one of them. The other design being something like this, except he actually had proper arms, arms instead of these things. things. And also, uh, the this design is not the act is not totally. Totally proper 
closer to the original design. That's, this is, goes back and acts more like a tail, so he has more of a t uh, T-Rex body, body, which explains his tiny at Tyrannosaurus arms. Arms. Um, you know, this is an okay figure though. Um, I do have some nitpicks though. First of all, his neck thing looks weird, and I've seen some original some people say that. Um, do some. I've seen uh one concept idea which was for the Legends class High Tower, which exists where it has his head in here. Um, okay, I I don't get it, but you know, hey, I I like this. This looks okay. I mean, it just looks weird to me. His face looks nice, nice though. Um, you know, it's interesting. Thing, his little Tyrannosaurus arms are kind of useless. Though so this like little vest thing here, which is basically possibly whatever where this is I don't know what to call, the, the the actual arm of the crane itself and speaking of arms um these things um I swear to God I think these were these are arms arms um now if they were to go with the original with one of the with one of the two concept ideas the one where he actually had proper arms I think these would have worked as his actual arms they look like these look like shoulders I swear to God got it but no, there are his legs, and you know that's nice. Nice as such, combine our part here, and there is a stand adapter for what looks to be something for a stand that I do not own. Own it, but this is nice, and um, yeah, let's talk about his posability. His thing can move up and down like so. It can go out like this and go for the hinge joint here, here, and now we get to the main body. Hinge joint here, hinge joint here. You can extend the Patronus. This or Patronus Charm, whatever you want to call it. Also, he does a little bit of that. And then he, you know, he can rock out at this um, Metallica or ACDC. He, he has a ball joint at the head. And he can look really high up. Up and really down. A little bit of side to side. Right at the head, but nothing at the base of the neck. Neck arms are on hinge joints. They can do that. Let's get on to his legs. Alright, this is where most articulation comes in. Alright, his legs can move forward. They're on a... Legs can move forward. Arm... Leg can move out. Arm is out. Yeah, he has a good spread. That means... So yeah, his legs... I'm gonna just... I'm gonna go over the articulation like your arms. I'm sorry, guys. Guys, uh... There is a thigh, bicep swivel. What? What am I supposed? To? Like I said, I don't. If, can I refer to these as arms, or or will I get get people mad if I call these things arms? Thigh, bicep swivel. Well, weird. Bend at the bend at the knee, elbow, bow in reverse. Hinge, uh, hinge joint here. Here, uh, they can. Pivot outward, we're in some way. Oh wait, no, this is like oh no, pivots do work like this. This is my bad, but they can pivot outward. Outward and and besides that, I think that's it for articulation. Opposed uh, billion things. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Oh my god. Uh, it's 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 okay. I. Guess. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm laughing because I don't know. I had difficulty trying to explain the articulation with these things. I have no clue what to call them. Uh, because, look, I can't be the only one that thinks these things are arms, right? They they look like arms. I, uh, they're arms that are legs. Like, he's like, uh, uh, Timon, not Timon, uh, a Sabobo from a uh, Star Wars, or is he? He's basically equivalent to that, where his arms, arms are technically his legs because how the human body works. His arms, arms are his legs, and his his legs are his arms. Like <laughs> this is like Sabobo logic. Like what? <laughs> what supposed to do with this? It's, oh, and I don't know if you're supposed to have these parts out or not. Not, but. And I, I, they, they look cool. Also, they should be put a hinge joint here, such as they can move even more out. That would have been funnier. Here, but he does have a nice wide, wide stance. Anyway, that is actually pretty wide. My name almost pretty close to the ground. 
Now, he does the full splits, my dude. Dude, but let's just compress his legs back into place, and uh, let's just get this over with with the size comparison. Uh, Godzilla. But uh, which is nice. Nice, I guess I could talk about concept ideas since you know this is the concept figure. Uh, I think this was an early draft of the concept idea for uh, uh, Godzilla. Look, can the monsters? I don't really care. Here he is with. Gundam the Barbados, which the concept arts for this thing looks amazing. And here he is next to Club Tripper for concept art. Right, boom, movie. I'm just kidding. Kidding. I got nothing to counterbalance uh, concept art ideas. Is besides the fact that I looked at Barbados's concept arts and they actually look really cool overall for this concept art. All right. Uh, this won't be the first time I might cover a a transformer. Remember that has a con that had a concept art that never made it into the final film. If I'm going to keep on collecting these species, uh, Constructicons, Hunt, Overload, and Scrapper, well, not Scrapper, Scrap Metal, are another one of these Constructicons that have a concept idea that never made it into the final film. Film. So we'll hear more of my opinion on those concepts. That's when I get those figures. Here's and uh. Besides that, this figure's okay. A really, really, uh, as a whole, as being a part of Devastator, uh, it's okay, really. I mean, he's generically useless in combined mode because I don't got nothing to, for him to combine with. So, you know, that's sad. You don't have Devastator. But as Hightower in general, the, if I was to count this as a Transformer that acquires, you know, robot mode, vehicle mode, uh, this is an okay figure. Robot mode, wonderful. Uh, you know, vehicle mode, it's nice, but due to this is a Transformers figure, you know, I gotta weigh the robot and vehicle mode, mode, uh, it's an okay figure, I mean, I mean, yes, if this was standard Transformer, I would love this thing, but, it's, it's a combiner, it's a sad excuse for a combiner part, I mean, I'm sorry, guys, uh, uh, maybe I'll like this guy if I have other Constructicons, which I don't have access to at the moment, but, Whatever. Or so yeah, uh this has been the high tower review. This is the last chance saying when life gets down, drink Dr. Pepper, keep calm, mounts on. I'll see you all next time with a you know, I'm done just saying what I'm planning on reviewing next. Just, just wait for it.